I'm just in a bus sitting sideways, waiting to look in all the time. Time gets a ticket, then it takes a toll. Told you I couldn't really draw the line. What's up, beautiful people? It's your girl Janaya Leah, and welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today, I am giving y'all the vlog that nobody asked for. So, today, I'm taking y'all with me. Well, we ain't going nowhere, but y'all are basically about to get the full behind the scenes of this wedding planning stuff now i know a few of y'all have kind of asked for more wedding planning vlogs but when i tell y'all it has just been so like hectic and stressful and basically it has just been a lot to kind of balance alongside you know being in school and just having so many other things going on it has been kind of a lot and i've been kind of doing things here and there basically when I can, whether that be 7 o'clock in the evening or 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock or basically when I can. So with that being said, I decided that I have, I actually have a list of wedding related things that I have to get done today. And I was like, you know what? Let me give the girls a little wedding vlog today while I got to get this stuff done. So first things first on my list hold on let me go to it okay so first things first on my list so we have already kind of um decided and paid for a venue um i actually did feature the venue in one of my vlogs i don't even know at this point but one of them vlogs y'all seen the venue right so that is the venue that we're growing with and so we've decided on that but the only thing was since it's a new newer venue they don't actually provide all the tables and the chairs and stuff so we're having to work with an outside vendor on the tables and chairs and i have not ordered them yet and that's the thing about it y'all literally but yeah so we're basically planning the wedding ourselves um because baby i don't know if y'all know this but people be out here going broke over weddings and i'm not trying to do that i'm just not trying to do that and i mean it is doable it makes it a whole lot easier like when you do have family members that do certain things which i don't have too many and if i do have some i don't know them if if you one of them please reach out to me moral of the story is it is cheaper but it's definitely not easier because like even with assignments and stuff sometimes i literally i literally took a two-week break from wedding planning back in like january february and then i was like dang it's only a couple months left i need to call these people i need to call these people so sometimes it's not really good to procrastinate because you can literally end up missing out on a vendor or losing out on like a really really good price and just a whole bunch of other chaos anyway so yeah where we're at right now is having to get together the tables the chairs all that stuff now literally y'all when it came when i'm telling y'all i'm being so economical i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all like some of my bridesmaids dresses mainly because i already got them and i'm not concerned about them selling out anymore which definitely was an issue so our colors for our wedding are kind of like navy blue and blush somewhat like this like not blush navy blue and like a pinkish somewhat like this and um the pink though is a little bit darker i guess and the navy blue is a little different too but let me show y'all the dresses now for the dresses when i tell y'all we're being economical like realistically speaking all these people including me finna wear this dress for one day that's it so i'm not i wasn't trying to spend a grip on dresses and people kind of do it differently for their wedding like, i have had a couple of people come and tell me that um Typically the bridesmaids or the groomsmen pay for their own dresses or pay for their own like or this person pays for that or this person pays for this and I'm like okay well I mean I found the dresses at a really good price and at that point I didn't really mind paying for them but they will be like paying for their shoes and whatnot but yeah it, it was it's just it's a lot but let me show y'all these dresses hold on okay so this is basically I was doing it different I don't I didn't really want them all wearing the same dress and I thought it would be cute if they're all the same color but basically everybody can wear whatever dress they want to so here are like the nine dresses that I let them choose from because of the ring light y'all can't really see the color as good but yeah it's surprisingly enough all the dresses are from Shein y'all the dresses are from Shein 
ain't that crazy and the thing was all of them were basically pretty good quality and i also got me some backup wedding dresses and some backup like maybe reception dresses from shein as well that were also really really cute and if i put my wig on on time today then maybe i'll actually try some of them on and show y'all because i literally i ordered so much wedding stuff and honeymoon stuff from shein and I have not taken out the box because at this point I don't want to have to really stress about packing and where all my new stuff went. So all that stuff in there is still in the box. I literally just separated them though from wedding stuff to vacation stuff because I also got us like some cute, um, let me see if I can pull it up. I also got us all like some cute pajamas and stuff to wear like during the whole getting ready part. And so let me see. And so these were the pajamas. So obviously here's mine. Mine is in white. Yeah, mine is white. And then theirs are like a baby pink, I guess. Is it baby pink? I don't know if it was baby pink. Oh no, yeah. Okay, it was like a variation of baby pink. And so got those. Then what else did I get for the wedding? Um, For my hair, y'all. For my hair, honestly, at this point, I'm just crazy. I've kind of basically backtracked on everything that I... Okay, camera, be still. I've basically backtracked on everything that I said I wanted to do for myself for my wedding. To now, after doing as much work as I've been doing lately, I'm just like, at this point, do I want to do anything? So initially, I told myself, okay, I'll do my own hair. I'll do my own makeup because I've never gotten my makeup done before. And I just feel like that, that at that point, it is not the time to be experimenting with new people. Why wow, you looking completely different? But what I decided to do was... um. There's this girl near me who does makeup and I do like her work on Instagram, but I have a graduation coming up in two weeks at this point. So I was thinking about booking her to do my graduation makeup, but that's really gonna be the trial appointment for my wedding makeup. And so if she does my graduation makeup and it looks cute, then I was thinking about um, just going ahead and booking her to do my wedding makeup as well. So yeah, but initially I did wanna do my makeup myself um, but the only trouble that I kind of had was the eye look that I kind of wanted to do. I mean, I'm learning, but I just could not do it. And I'm like, the thing is, even me, I do the same makeup routine every day. And it literally comes out different every day. And then I'm thinking about it. I'm just like, I don't want to worry about that. I don't have time for that. So if I can find somebody else who can do makeup the way I like it to be done and the way I like my face to look, then I'm definitely going to go to them. But let me get this wig real quick and I'll be right back. So I literally ordered this 28 inch kinky straight U part wig, you know, from She Slays First Hair, right? Because I thought initially I did want to do like a cute long down style, like 28 inch bust down, maybe like some Hollywood like glamour waves. Y'all have probably seen them because that's like one of the most popular wedding. Um, what is this? Oh, perfect. <laughs> wedding um hairstyles so i was thinking okay maybe i can just get a super long wig and do it with that and the wig is here obviously i would have had to you know press it out and then from there um put the curls in but i think literally as the wig was on the way i started thinking to myself and i was like hmm one do i actually want to do that and two do I actually want to do that? And I was just like, no, not really. And I think something happened. There's this um lady who works at the same salon as me and she does like the cutest ponytails. And I think I was in there one time and she was doing this cute ponytail on this girl for prom. And I was like, dang, I kind of like that. And so from there, I was just like, you know what? I had been thinking in my mind like, dang, I think I may want a ponytail instead. So now the hairstyle that I'm kind of going to go for is like a, too banging i have i've literally posted this ponytail or like this style on my channel before because i've done it but i'm like i want somebody else to do it so yeah it's gonna be like a two bang um you know with some little curls and then like a little updo cute little ponytail with a little curl so that's gonna be so cute and i basically i just switched up that's how i'm that's how i'm gonna do my hair because i'm just like yeah whatever but i literally had to make the whole floor layout for my wedding and this was kind of like the hardest part and this is also kind of what has been kind of holding most of the things up. So here it is somewhat. So as y'all can see, I kind of broke off this part up here because this is basically where the bridegroom and wedding party are gonna be. 
these are the tables i believe how many tables i believe it's actually going to be just 14 tables instead of 15 due to the fact that instead of having the um instead of having like a whole extra table for potentially like the bride i mean for for the groomsmen and the bridesmaids we're all just going to be sitting at like one long table basically up here so that kind of helped me eliminate one table because each table seats like 10 people so that helped me eliminate one table and as y'all can see the tables are round tables mainly because we're having our wedding and our reception in the same place and the venue is not like the biggest venue and so i just found that it would be easier if everyone is already seated in their same seats for the reception during the ceremony so that way we don't have to like worry about flipping the room or anything like that so then from there i kind of laid out some other tables i got like three other tables um and then the main thing was obviously you have to have room for the dance floor um after the actual wedding ceremony and that was hard for me because i'm like dang i was trying to kind of lay it out to where we still would have a little bit of room for a dance floor and that was so hard but basically i ended up being able to kind of make somewhat of a space here in the middle of the floor so that's kind of where our dance floor will be and the aisle will also be rolled up and removed after the wedding ceremony um and yeah y'all basically that's it now i feel like the most interesting part about our wedding and if you get married in anytime soon or are thinking about it the most expensive part depending on how many people you have will most likely be the catering and that just made me so sick because i'm like man why we gotta feed these people oh like that literally just made me sick to my stomach because i was like are you freaking kidding me when i tell you our catering bill right now costs more than our venue it literally costs more than what i spent on wedding and bridesmaid dresses it literally costs more than like most of the decorations we're gonna have at the wedding it literally costs more than the tables and the chairs just to feed these people they're literally just about to eat it they just finna eat it they finna oh my gosh it just made me so sick but anyways because the venue is also like not that big um i found that it would be easier and cooler for us to have like a food truck for the main course at the wedding so we will have like a table set up in the actual venue for like appetizers and stuff like that but as far as it goes for um hold on Jalen's calling me what up everybody it's your boy Jalen Bridges tuning in with another YouTube video today we're doing a wedding vlog and we have uh, my co-worker Janaya here uh, planning all the information and whatnot so uh, stay tuned for more information and we'll see y'all next time yeah you did amazing okay but yeah all right i'll see you when you get here oh yeah appetizer so yeah we'll have something set up um inside for you know appetizers and whatnot um but yeah main course is going to be food truck and the food truck kind of has like a variety of like different meals and whatnot but that definitely saves us a lot of money and it saves us a lot of um space as well since we don't have to like kind of set up and make more room for buffet style like whatever and that buffet style also costs a little more now dj yeah my mom did connect me with a dj all that stuff yeah anyways so before i get to calling all these people let me go ahead and show y'all kind of a few things that i have done for the decorations i'll be right back so a couple of weeks ago i literally went to hobby lobby and got me these little foam boards and i also got some flowers and i made like some cute centerpieces these i have about four of them that are not done i have to finish them i kind of you know did a whole lot and i was like all right i don't feel like doing nothing else so i have about four of these left that i actually have to finish and then i'll basically be done with all the little flower centerpieces because our wedding is kind of like garden themed so basically mainly the only decor will literally be like green like flowers all that type stuff so with that being said this is what we got here and then the thing was i did a lot of things like early so like these centerpieces i did that early i bought like bridesmaids dresses and all that stuff early so that way i have plenty of time to make back the money that i spent on these things instead of me just spending a whole bunch of money like at that point and then it's just like dang because i'm sure i will definitely spend more let me go put these back yeah but i'm 99 that i'm 99 certain that i absolutely will spend more um as of right now so the venue they do even though i don't have a wedding planner they do kind of require there to be a date of coordinator on site which is basically somebody who was assigned to manage the um 
kind of responsibilities and order of events for that day so somebody who's required to kind of you know keep up or keep in touch with like the vendors and stuff that day to make sure everybody gets paid and all this other stuff oh, let me make sure yeah all that other stuff and so that person my grandma actually volunteered and said you know okay like well actually volunteer slash i was just like yeah you good because like you know you good at bossing people around like you know just telling people what to do like people listen to you so i'm like yeah you'll be real good for that so basically what i ended up doing is somewhat making like a whole mini um proposal of that stuff and kind of just wrote out like you know all the vendors all the you know all the vendors table chairs linen decor um then also kind of wrote out like an event schedule for that day so for example this thing says start hair and makeup um for bridesmaids and me at like 12 then start taking photos at 2 which that may be completely different if the makeup artist that i'm getting and stuff basically if they don't travel it'll probably be completely different um then like some stuff for a wedding rehearsal then lastly i think i went ahead and i attached the floor plan so now what i'm getting ready to do is i'm getting ready to call these people let me um actually let me write this down first what I'm getting ready to do now is I'm getting ready to call these tables and chair people and I'm basically going to go ahead and try to get this like sorted out and settled because I have spoken to them a while ago but the thing was um I think I literally changed the layout like, I didn't know exactly how many I wanted slash needed at that time and then literally changed the layout right after and then these people sent me an invoice and I'm like uh you know what I don't think I need this many blank 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 tables so now I'm getting ready to call back because it is getting pretty close so I need to call them back and you know adjust that again and I actually called them like recently but I was having a hard time like getting on the phone with them people and I'm like why is that that just does not like answer the phone that just makes you so like antsy as anybody who's like trying to book something when the person you're trying to book with or like work with is not answering the phone it's just like why are you not picking up the phone so yeah let me adjust my amounts and then i'm gonna call them and get these tables and chairs hi i'm calling um trying to place an order yes all right i can help you with that okay like cool beans so we actually talked a while ago you're welcome all right have a good one you, bye. 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 you too tables and chairs are done okay i'm happy that they actually answered the phone because when i would just be calling them like all the other times they just won't answer and then i'll end up getting busy okay so then since i did that now i need to go ahead and order these tablecloths and also order the tablecloths and a few other things now the tablecloths and stuff those are coming from a completely different company because this company does not have the actual tablecloths so let me see um so 14 would you be able to text me what it is that you needed and i can check on availability for you as soon as i stop okay yes and do you all have a showroom by chance so let me see what else was on my list so yep oh yeah schedule food tasting so i'm waiting on the caterer to respond back so we can schedule this food tasting stuff but in between that time i'm just gonna wait for Jalen to get back i'm probably gonna just install this wig real quick um and then i'm also gonna call these people and try to see what i can do for my graduation party so i'll be right back a few moments later we headed to this um basically this party rentals place or whatever they rent out you know just decor stuff like that and so i have a whole list of things that i needed to rent from them one being um tablecloths 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 table linen um a wedding arch and then i feel like they had a couple of other things that i felt like i would like so we gonna check those out there too because i just really want to see it in person before i actually make a decision on buying any of the stuff and then i also really want to see because the color of the table linen that i was gonna get was actually champagne now according to my inspo i should probably get white but i felt like the champagne would like be really really cute but I need to see what it looks because if the champagne is like a little more pink than it is white, then I probably won't get it. I highly recommend because if I could do it all again and I just had like infinite funds, I would absolutely 100% pay somebody to do literally everything for me. I would literally pay somebody to freaking buy my dress. I would pay somebody to pick up my dress and all that stuff. Like it really wouldn't even matter at this point. 
Okay, y'all, so I just pulled up to this party room place. So let's go inside. And let me take my shades off because when I wear my shades, I can't even see my camera. So we are done with that and they actually had some pretty nice stuff in there. Kind of what I've been doing throughout this process is literally taking pictures of every single thing. So I went in there, I did have like a list of the specific things that I did want to make sure I looked at and you know felt and you know touched whatever. Um, but I saw a few more things. I was happy I was able to see them because then it makes it so much easier for when I have to order it online because ordering online but yeah ordering online can be so hectic sometimes especially because nowadays like photography is good so you get in person and it look completely different so i'm happy that i did go in person before i ordered online because it turns out that the champagne um the champagne linen that i thought i wanted was actually a whole lot more brown i guess than i expected it to be so i'm thinking right now i may end up going with a different color maybe like a cream or something like that we'll see i'll have to get on pinterest and uh <laughs> and check out my mood boards and go from there um can i get a number 10 with a large fry this is probably the first time that this should play that's giving me actual fresh hot fries Mm, 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 mm. Why did the toilet just start making noises as I come into the bathroom? Anyways, y'all, look at all this hair. I'm gonna be on my tippy toes right now trying to show it to y'all. But this is like 28 inches. This is crazy. So I switched my part to a middle part when I got home. I don't know which one I like. It usually takes me like a minute to kind of settle down um, and decide which part I like. But anyways, I just literally finished my very last college assignment ever ooh, ooh, ooh. Not for now but just finished my last assignment and y'all when i tell y'all i almost didn't make it chat i almost didn't make it my friend she actually ended up having to cancel on coming to dry, try on her dress for today which is fine but at this point that means i have free time so i am i think i want to do a um she and try on haul video for all of the stuff I got for my wedding and my honeymoon as well and try it all on in like one video. I think that's better. I just hate when my nose feels like oily. So with that being said, we'll do that at some point. Right now, I'm gonna take a break and we finna go try on these clothes, y'all. I'm so excited. Okay, cause this is gonna be like my first time trying some of them on too. But all right, let's go get into it. Okay, y'all, so I literally just finished my Shein haul, and uh, And at this point in my day, um, I finished my last assignment, finished the Shein haul. My friend was supposed to come over and try on her dress, but that didn't quite work out, so we just rescheduled for another day later this week. And I still have to get some stuff together with my Pinterest, not necessarily Pinterest board, but basically just get some stuff together with the colors and everything for the wedding i also need to figure out a color scheme for everyone to wear and to not wear to the wedding and so those are all the things i kind of still have left to do and basically i guess after i figure out all of these small like planning things everything else will just be like decorating which will be slightly a bit easier because that's more have a little more freedom and flexibility with going to get those items but anyways y'all at this point i can feel myself getting slightly overwhelmed and honestly i just have moments and especially with the wedding planning and then finishing school and all this stuff i just have moments where i'm just like oh i am so tired i'm just tired that is going on so i absolutely have moments where i'm just like overwhelmed tired and sometimes i get upset with the world i ain't even gonna lie that's what wedding planning do to you start reading a new book because sometimes it's just nice to disappear in a book for a little bit so that being said i'll see y'all a little bit later oh uh, sometimes i just move a little too fast for my own good because i knew i was doing a whole wedding planning vlog look at my hair oh i knew i've been doing a whole wedding planning vlog 
but i literally have been forgetting to fill y'all in so child it's thursday today is thursday last night jalen and i actually went down the street to meet up with this chef sorry i'm taking my products to the other room let me clean up my space because sometimes it's just so hard trying to work in like a messy space but anyways we went and met with the chef who we're getting to food truck cater at our wedding and we did a tasting and y'all that food was phenomenal it was amazing i was like oh my goodness we literally chow we left and we're so full because we tasted about like four different menu items and they were all let me make sure my chilling okay cool i thought my gel went bad for a second we taste like four different menu items and they all were literally the bomb our favorite though our personal favorite um was the salmon tacos so just know it's gonna go crazy and i'm actually so excited that just made me kind of a little more excited about this whole wedding process because the food was so dang good like it literally don't make no sense how good that food was but yeah so we did that yesterday and as i'm thinking about it oh i should have took y'all with me but girl i was moving so fast just trying to get stuff done i forgot to invite my own grandma how you forget to invite your own grandmother i just can't believe it y'all i can't believe it y'all this weekend i'm actually dog sitting my aunt's dogs so callie and zoe are here they're currently fighting let me show y'all yeah you guys i'm scared okay i'm not scared i'm not scared y'all i am going to get my makeup done for the first time ever and i'm i'm not gonna lie i said i'm not scared but i am low-key nervous because y'all have to realize it has been such a long time um since i've paid to go get my hair done by anyone and i've never gotten my makeup done by anyone but um there's this girl who does makeup near where i live and i actually followed her probably about a year ago on my hair page and oh whoa and i really like her work and i just decided okay i'm about to book an appointment because as y'all know initially i did kind of oh my gaslight is on <laughs> the number one thing that i kept running into when i was finding people with pretty good work is they did not have like good like they didn't really have many examples on dark-skinned women and i'm like uh i don't know about that because if you know anything about makeup then you know that somebody can have pretty good work on light skin and fair skin women and then when you know a dark skin baddie <laughs> when they get a dark skin client and they come to them to get their makeup done they might have us looking a little ashy drinking a little water so i can be hydrated but not too much because i ain't trying to be myself but anyways oh my gosh i'm nervous i let her know that i was here because she um sent me a text with the address and i'm like baby i'm already outside i am already outside i don't even know what to say but she did text back and say that it's fine if i record so y'all already know your girlfriend and record i'm so okay i'm gonna get off here i'm gonna get off here because i'm just gonna keep saying that i'm nervous Oh, nigga got 
started nothing. I had no chance to prepare. I couldn't see you coming. I started nothing. Ooh, 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 I hate you now. It's quiet. Okay, y'all, let me let me hurry up because my camera about to die. I don't know. I feel like I like it, but I just, I don't like the cut crease. Is this a cut crease? I think so. Yeah, I feel like it's cute, but this, the cut crease part, I just, I don't like. Ooh. Okay, let me try to get out this driveway. I'll, I'll talk to y'all more when I get home. Okay, y'all, so I'm back home and oh my gosh y'all really can't even see right here but leave it to me the lighting is too warm so i'm gonna go back into the work room but leave it to me to go home and change some stuff up because truthfully i didn't like the cut crease i just didn't like it but i did like the rest of the face like i didn't look too cakey or anything but I just could not rock with that cut crease. And my camera was dying, but basically I just ended up coming in here. I took the lashes off, put my lashes back on, and I basically did away with the cut crease and kind of just added some more like darkness in it because I just didn't like that light color on my eyes. It just wasn't cute and that's not really what I was going for. But I do still, you know, like her work and the face looked really, really cute. So what I think I'm going to do is I may book with her again next week for my graduation. But this time I'll book like a, I think it was a natural glam. So I'll book a natural glam that we and you know, I'll also wear my own lashes and then um we'll go from there. I'm also going to text her and kind of see what the process is for like wedding trials and whatnot. Because that's basically where like, you know, the bride can test out different makeup looks and that way that may save me some money as well so i'm also going to kind of inquire about that because I, I basically just switched up and i like this i like this better i like this better and i just threw some stuff on my eyes but the cut crease and the lashes they just wasn't working for me they wasn't working for me y'all i didn't like them i almost wiped my whole face off because it wasn't like it was ugly because let me tell y'all maya Maya loved it. My sister loved it, but she is more of a cut crease type of girl. Meanwhile, me, I don't like a cut crease. But anyways, oh my gosh, I don't have any homework or anything. What? So I guess that means I should probably I should probably get to editing some videos. Um, and then, well, I'm gonna eat first because I'm starving. I've been up and I'm I'm starving right now. Um, and then what else am I gonna do? I'm gonna edit some videos. And I think I want to kind of get a little more structure like with my channel and filming and kind of plan out some videos as well and actually do them. So anyways, I'll be right back and yeah. I just realized I didn't even show y'all what my food was looking like yesterday. So here's my jello fries, my chicken. There's some plantains in there. Sadly, my plantains were not fresh. Like, they were actually cold when I got them yesterday. My chicken was cold, too. Then I got some agusi. And then I got some fufu right here. As y'all can see, I was tearing this fufu up in the car. And I didn't even eat that much yesterday. I just got, oh my gosh, that junk put me to sleep. I don't know if it was the food or what. But boy, your girl went to sleep. But yeah, so I'm going to eat real quick. And then I'll be back. Okay, y'all, don't judge me, but that was in this vlog because I didn't really do anything else wedding related and I'm still kind of working on like getting the same things done. So tables, chairs, all that stuff. So when we go like cake tasting and all that other good stuff, I'm probably just going to include that in the part two and call it a day. Okay, so you already know, click smash, smack that subscribe button down below and I will see y'all on my next video. Ooh.